heard a lot of people talk up the water dungeon as some legendary puller of plonkers, but I breezed through it on a single plane flight, not even an international one, just two hours domestic, and I spent the first half hour of it staring into space. Check the rooms you haven't been to yet, guys. It's not rocket science. Yes, I am saying that I'm smarter than you were when you were 12. Even well put, Yancy. Well put. Hey, everybody, this is Earbox. You just have time for another episode of Let's Play Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you couldn't tell about the opening, we're going into the water temple. We're going into the water temple this episode. Okay, um. So, yeah. So, yeah, from the opening, you can, you can obviously tell that's kind of what I think about, too. Just check every room, guys. It's not rocket science. Um. No, there's a bit more. There's a bit more story to that. Apparently, and this has been a long time since I've actually gone through the water done, the water temple, um, officially, <laughs> gone through it, last time I played through, uh, the game screwed up, it was something, it was something totally my fault, not the game, not the emulator's fault, but, um, I ended up having to <clears throat> kind of cheat, well, I ended up having to cheat somehow, I can't remember what, I can't remember the exact details, but, Quite frankly, I was being stupid and <coughs> the game just decided to uh, hate me. Uh, one thing I have to get used to in this temple uh, to unequipping the boots. Um, if you notice in later dungeons, if you notice in later, later Zelda games, they change it so that you don't. Uh, that you don't have to so that the boots the items are items. I'm kind of down a little bit. A little loud. Um, the change is that you don't have to, uh, so you don't have to sit there and access the boss screen every time you want to access your boots. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see, we gotta go this way and then, then still gonna Um, it might just 
check every room we've been to. It's not rock science. <laughs> um, so again, like I said, this interesting story one of my friends said, the one my friends told me about, uh, apparently you can actually miss a room and, uh, the room with the boss, the room with the boss key in it, and, uh, totally screw yourself out of getting the boss key. Which, I kind of find that to be a bit of a paradox. If that makes any sense. Uh, that, that, that terminology makes any sense to you. <laughs> More proud of you if it doesn't, um, so, uh, sorry. <coughs> but, uh, Seriously, it does kind of seem like a paradox to me because that's not how a Zelda game works. And, uh, it works on the principle that you can get to every room. They do put you set up in such a way that you have that you have to set up in one way or another. No, look, there's Princess Rudo. She got hotter. <laughs> oh, you come right, Link. You're Link, aren't you? Yeah, it's me, your fiance, Ruto. Princess is Zora's. <laughs> Things like all surprised. <laughs> Never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for this, these seven long years. But now is not the time to talk about love. <laughs> I'm sure you already seen it. Zora's domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from the ice. My father said the other Zora's have not yet. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. <laughs> oh, that sounds weird. That's a weird setting. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monster of the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me quickly. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to follow her. I'm gonna have to see there's a shadow. Or what's her shadow anyway? Again, I think the thing that people complain about this temple the most is having to unequip and reequip the boots. It's such a hassle. Um it takes a while to get up here too. Oh, uh, there's a bomb bombable wall. But we can't bomb it because bombs don't work in the water yet. So they won't work until Twilight Princess, so not yet, but... Uh, by the way, what are these things? Spikes. <laughs> um, basically, uh, if you block this, if you, uh... Wait for it to turn the stone, or, or uh, hit it so it turns the stone somehow. No matter how you hit it, just hit it somehow. Then you, uh... Then yeah, you win. You, uh, can hit them and kill them. Here we're gonna get the map! Yeah, we found the dungeon map! So now we really can find a way around the dungeon. Um, strong button. <laughs> Again, I've been playing Resident Evil 4 an awful lot. Uh, right here is what she's talking, the one Rudolph was talking about, the uh, spots you can change the water levels. Uh, hold on. There we go. Who plays out as well, by?
guys are enjoying this. Okay, I hit him that time. I hit him. Okay, you know what? You know what? Damn that. There. Die! This is why I hate shellfish. This, this is why I eat shellfish, because they would kill me otherwise. Okay, so we got our first key. Yay! Yeah. 
like an amazingly good long term memory. Like I remember just the most random things that my friends who claim to have who claim to have a photographic memory will completely have forgotten about. Like I remember having this conversation with one of my friends about his school and the five second rule and how in his school it's more like the no second rule. You gotta catch it before it hits the ground. And uh, I brought it up like a, I brought that up probably like a year or two later, and he's like, I don't remember ever having that conversation. I'm sitting there kind of like just wondering. I'm, I'm sitting there kind of like thinking, you claim you have photographic memory, but yeah, you don't remember that. Well, that's kind of incon kind of uh, inconvenient, don't you think? <laughs> uh, but then again, do I know? I'm just, I'm just a. Uh, I don't want to say I'm an idiot, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> um, just one of those weird people like that, I guess. Here we got another key! Just open the locked door in this dungeon. Another, another story about the, going back to my uh, one friend who, uh, who claims to have gotten, who claims to have locked the, uh, Claimed to open the wrong set of doors in this dungeon and got the, uh... Wait, are you serious? Can't go through it. Oh, wait. <laughs> wrong way. That's... Uh, that's my short term memory for you guys. <laughs> Again. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. Um, but anyway... Uh, one of the funny things about it is he's trying... He, uh... <coughs> he's going... He went to the, uh, fire temple to try to, uh, get a key from there that he had somehow missed. Like, he didn't need. So you gotta keep that for that temple, and then try to use it in this dungeon. Then when you enter the dungeon, well, let's put, let's put it this way: when we were talking about the expression he used was just priceless. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it, <coughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video off here for now. So in the next episode. Uh, we'll talk about how these, how this stuff here works. Uh, basically just with that and then just list that up and if you're not on it, you won't fall. So yeah, there's your, there's your explanation for that. Um, anyway, in the next episode, we'll go, we'll go up that geyser and kind of go into more of the water temple. But until then, I'll see you guys later.